They gonna change it when they get podcast. Podcast these are nuts. Alright, go. What is up? What is going on? Welcome to a new episode of the Watch Tower Podcast. Today is April 28th. Avengers Endgame is out. And today we're going to talk about the Endgame movie. You know, now, disclaimer from the start. Spoiler warning, spoiler alert. If you have not seen the movie yet, do not listen to this podcast. Do not watch this on YouTube because I'm going to spoil the absolute heck out of this movie because honestly, I don't care. I'm just going to keep talking about the movie because it's that good and I like it that much. And today we are joined by my girlfriend, Angelica. Say what's up to the people. What's up, people? That's your intro. Like, What do you want me to say? It doesn't matter. We're already here. All right. So we're going to start off with um, our overall thoughts on the movie. You know, almost kind of like a review. What, what we thought about the movie. So I think the movie was um, extremely good very emotional wild roller coaster um i like the introduction of you know or not the introduction but a lot of characters got closure such as iron man and captain america you know spoiler alert iron man does die and me being an iron man stan because i love iron man so much he's the background on my computer currently i was sad as heck um when we were in the movie theater actually angelica my girlfriend i looked at her and i was like yo if they if they kill him, it'd be sad. And then when he was, he snapped his fingers and was like, "I am Iron Man." He died. I was like, "Damn, son!" Like, but that's... you say he was emotional. I don't. I feel like I. Well, in Logan, uh huh. I cried. This one, I didn't cry actually. But I feel. But see, for me, it was emotional because I really like Iron Man. I really like. You know all the stuff that's happened, especially like there's a scene with his daughter where he says, "You know, I love you 3,000. and then at the end of the movie, his hologram says, "I love you." Th-. Like certain moments hit, and on top of that too, these mo- these movies have been coming out for the past 11 years, 21 movies. So it's like after seeing all this stuff happen, and then this being the end, it's like it was emotional. Now with Logan, I mean, I like Logan, but it, it didn't hit. No, this I end. was crying in Logan. No, nah, I didn't. Nah, but this it was a wild roller coaster. It had a lot of high moments that I really enjoyed too. Um, like I guess I'm not really like a humongous Iron Man fan, so I guess that's why I didn't really. But you were sad when Scarlett Johansson died. Oh yes, I was very sad. For yeah, that. and that 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 death was um, like even then because you know her and Hawkeye was going at it to see. Because you got to give a soul I, for the soul to get the soul stone. I thought Hawkeye was going to be the one that fell. And that's what everybody keeps saying. I keep telling them, like, Hawkeye had a reason to live. Yeah. Like, he family. has a family. Yeah. He, like, her family is the Avengers. She, mm-hmm. We don't know what else she has. And even when the Red Skull mentioned her dad, she don't know her dad. So mm-hmm. it was just like... But, like, for, for you, that was sad. On top of that, too, this movie was very... uh Had a lot of comedic stuff to it. With, you know, Thor being a uh, fat, like, melted ice cream, you know? I don't know. I'm, like, iffy about that part. Like, yeah, okay, it was funny and stuff, but I thought eventually he was going to go back to how he was. But he kind of stayed fat the whole, the whole movie, right? Yeah, I, I didn't have no problem with it. He was depressed. He just, he could have... I thought he was going to bounce back. Nah, he was depressed because you got to think in Infinity War, Thanos tells him, like, you should have one for the head. He kills Thanos. Nothing changes. So he's like sad and depressed. He gets fat, becomes an alcoholic. You know, uh, the people of New Asgard, they said they only see him once a month when he wants to go get beer. So it was sad in that aspect as well. I mean, um, but also too, like, like seeing, you know, Captain America, he goes to uh, these little interventions, I'm going to say, these little conversations. Like, seeing how this movie took them to such a dark place and... How from, you know, as it transitions, it does get happier. Like, another thing I liked about this movie was that the pacing. I feel like the pacing was really well put together. I feel like it wasn't too fast. It wasn't too slow. It was something that you could, like, sit there for that three hours, and it doesn't feel like three hours. Now, you got it, up. It actually, yeah, it actually didn't feel like three hours. Yeah, and you got up and left. I, and I you was were the, the only, only one, one that got up. And, hey, I had to use the bathroom. Like, yeah, really. everybody else was, like, sitting there doing Everybody the was holding, like, the... 
holding their <laughs> their beat. I was like, no, I have to go to the bathroom. See, IGN helped me out, and I was trying to give her the tips on, yo, look, these are the times you go to the movie. Like, for example, in Japan, that was a perfect time to go to the movie because they don't really to talk about... To the bathroom, about- you meant. Yeah, to the bathroom. Wow, what did I say? The movie? Yeah, you said the movie. Yo, we got to delete this nice style. We're going to keep going. But it's the perfect time to go uh, to the bathroom because it's like they don't really talk about anything. Like, all right, you see Hawkeye for the first time. Or not Hawkeye, uh, consider Ronan now because, you know, he's out here just killing people. Uh, basically, the kill. I mean, he still has a, a motive, but he's just doing stuff to do so. But, um... No, like, it was just, it was just paced really well. It doesn't feel like three hours at all. Honestly, it felt like a two hour movie. I was, yeah, I was captivated the whole time. Um, you know, I just have the good luck. Well, I don't know if it's a good luck or bad luck, but I always have the theaters that's like really rowdy. So anytime something happens, like, they're like, yeah, yeah. Like, so that's, that's, that was a good aspect of it. I, I don't know. It was just really sad to, um, to see something like this end, especially to like, I don't, I feel like they just they did such a good job putting this movie together on top of that too what i also liked about this movie was is um how they solved the problem uh spoiler alert basically they go back in time and they get each stone from each point of that time to bring back the stones to their current time snap and bring everybody back and i thought that was just dope especially too because look everybody on youtube and everybody all over had like five billion theories on what could possibly happen and just to see that none of those theories that i heard about or i saw weren't happening i was hype about that so that was a good thing um so my overall thoughts on the movie is really good it's really enjoyable if you are a marvel fan a marvel stan i would definitely check it out um we're gonna go see it again because um you know i just love it so much heck if i had enough money you know because i'm broke nice stop. but if i had enough money to see it every five dollar tuesday i would be in there every five dollar tuesday huh until they take it out of yeah I would, I would be there until every five dollar tuesday until they take it out it's just too good like it was it was a really good movie they really did the job you know on top of that too we are not no movie experts so i'm not gonna go into every single detail but we're going on to the next thing on my show notes which is the best moments now i have a few best moments but um angelica do you have one best moment in particular and probably when all the females came together yeah that's that's one of my at, favorite in moments. the battle yeah because it's like i actually saw somebody on twitter that got mad about that and that's why i was gets t- mad about that and that's what i was telling you before when we were in the car going home i was like yo i'm i'm surprised like they did that because people are gonna get mad about that and i saw someone on twitter like oh like that was the worst moment of the movie i was like that was one of the best moments of the movie to see all these women come together mm-hmm and kick ass yeah kick ass body everybody it was just like a Mm -hmm. very pivotal moment it was very important and especially on top of that too uh just to see them all sequence in together i i thought that lineup was heat like you get uh iron man pepper then you get valkyrie then you get uh sherry then you get captain marvel you get all these women it's like oh like it's got to go down i thought that was a really good moment um I think uh, Captain America, Iron Man, and Thor all squatting up to fight Thanos. I thought that was a really good moment, especially too when Thor is about to get, you know, he's about to get bodied, and then all you see is Captain America get the hammer. He's start, just starts hitting the combo breakers, just starts bodying Thanos with his shield and his his hammer. I thought that was a really good moment. Um, you have another one? Mm-hmm. Um. Another one? Yeah. Uh, if y'all hear click clacks, it's my dog. Not that I could think of right now. The worst. Uh, wait, are we going to the worst moments? No, nah, let's keep staying on best. Um, I mean, there was a lot of good things. I'm not going to start naming every single thing. I think another good moment was. Uh, was. Tony Stark and his dad. That conversation was really well. Like, I thought that was a really good moment. What I also like too is um the passing of the torch aspect of everything, like how everything is passed from. Well, when I, when um Captain America gives yeah, him the shield, yeah, he passes the shield to Sam. I thought that was a good moment. When Thor passes Asgard to Valkyrie, I thought that was a good moment. Uh, all that stuff was just like good pivotal moments for the movie. They did amazing stuff. 
We're gonna take a cut right here. Okay, and we are back. I had to, you know, get my dog to calm down because he was getting real fidgety. Um, back to best moments though. Valkyrie, I said passing, you know, that passing the torch. Um, what else was a good moment? It's there, was, like he says, a lot of good moments. Oh, everybody showing up to fight. Oh yeah, I mean, that I was so. that was a good moment. Everybody showing up to fight. That was good. I mean, I guess if you want to include, you know. Thor, I mean, I Thor, Hulk snapping his fingers to bring everybody back. That was a really good moment, too. But, I mean, it's like... Wait, is it just me who's questioning when Iron Man took the... The, um... The stones? The stones. Okay, from so I actually asked my friend about that, too. And I was like, so how did he get that through so fast? And, all right, his... The glove that he gave to Hulk to do the snap mm -hmm. was made from the same nanotech that's in the suit. So it's easy for him to mentally or anything be able to control the movement from the stones to his glove. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because he did it way too fast. Yeah, like you can't just bang, 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 take them all off. Because when you see Thanos take the the purple one off, which I don't honestly don't remember all the names of the stones because you know I'm just I just don't. Mm -hmm. uh, when he takes that one off, he does that like wait he it takes him a second, but he was able to take all all of them off. In a matter of, in yeah. a matter of like a second or two, so yeah, he was telling me that because it's made out of the same material that um that that glove is made out of the same material as the Iron Man suit, it's easy to just transfer it, transfer it, trans transfer it. Tr transfer it. I just this is, podcast is horrible. Uh, it's easy to just transfer it to to him. So uh, yeah, that's that's what he told me, uh, which makes sense. Uh, I thought that oh man, that shit was just sad. It was just sad, like to, to see my boy go. I think that I think it was, you know, the best moments though is from this and the entire movie though. It started the way it ended. It starts with Iron Man and it ends with Iron Man. And by that, I mean it starts with Iron Man. You know, he starts the first MCU movie off. He starts everything saying, you know, look, I am Iron Man. All that beautiful stuff. And then um, at the end, snaps his finger, says, I am Iron Man. I just thought that was dope. Was, this movie just was too good. Now, after we're done talking about the best moments, we gotta go to the worst moments. And it's all good. Do you have any worst moments? Worst moment. Well, when Scarlett Johansson died. Oh, uh, because you didn't want her to die. I didn't. You just want her to live forever. Yeah. You just. She's awesome. <sighs> yes. I worst mean. moment. Another worst moment. I'm gonna, look, I'm, I'm gonna go out and say it. I think the worst moment um, was the oh in in Jap where was it Jap Japan is it Japan yeah uh -huh. yeah that guy kind of really that wasn't really needed yeah I w yeah you think they should have like she should have found him another way like I mean I give you say like it wasn't it wasn't uh in it it wasn't in it um important part yeah it was like all right cool like I mean I guess they had to show that he became. Like who he became. Ronin and everybody, mm -hmm. so they gotta show like, you know, he's on some savagery shit. But I mean, is it really relevant to it? Not Well, you know what, it's, maybe it's, it is relevant. You know what it is? It doesn't it doesn't push the um I'm gonna say it doesn't push the envelope. And by that I mean it doesn't do anything to the extent of this is a key moment right here where if you walk away from the movie, like well, you'll miss something. Like you went to the bathroom at a key moment and i told you just to hold out no <laughs> but maybe it was relevant to the fact that what when they go to the mountain he was like well i can't i deserve it because i've killed and like you know let me die no because you, she could, was like, you no. could easily because they've all technically going to be technical they've all killed people air quotes because avengers what was that uh age of ultron they they body people there uh civil war like they've all killed people but i think in his i guess how you look at it like he's he's done it recently, it was recently. yeah i guess you want to look at it like that but i think with uh with him though like i don't know i think that i don't think that moment's really needed but i don't think that's like i guess it's it's, it's not like a it's, i'm gonna say it's not a needed moment yeah uh where's the moment for me uh i'm gonna be the one to die on this hill is uh i don't i didn't like that hulk scene which one the one where 
you get introduced to the new Hulk. I'm gonna say where he's. Oh, come. where he he works in the. Um, nah, he works, but he like. Work there? No, I don't think so. I think he's just getting something to eat with them. Oh. And um, uh, and I just thought that was like, gosh, I just thought that was horrible. Not horrible. I like them. Not, but not like horrible, but. Because he explains that he. He, he comes at peace. Yeah, he comes. Uh huh. He comes at peace. With yeah, and I don't think it was necessarily horrible. I just didn't like it because it was like he kind of turned into like an asshole. What do you mean? He, he got he his all right. In Infinity War, Hulk gets body right. Mm-hmm. Hulk gets body. He doesn't want to come out for the rest of the movie, right? Mm-hmm. So in this one, he's come at peace with himself in the five years that it's been since the uh, end of the movie, which we forgot to mention. But who really cares? Uh, so yes, it's been five years. We are. I don't know how how far we are along in this, but we forgot to mention it's been five years. And um, what was it? He uh, he become he became kind of like like an overconfident asshole. It's kind of like he became the jock that's really good at sports in high school. It's like yeah, look, I can I can do anything and everything. And it was like, bro, like you kind of like a jerk now. Like you went from being this. This uh, this sweet, sincere guy. Then now you're like a jerk. You you like that? Uh, I didn't really see him as a jerk. I did. You bug it. I don't know. I guess I didn't really notice. Because like, I like uh, and I didn't and I, like. That's not to take away from the scene itself. Like I think the scene was very uh, was good. I just don't like. I think it was funny with with the picture. And yeah, the like I just didn't like. I just I'm not gonna say that was a worst moment either. It was just like a uh, <sighs> really. Um, I, I'm gonna say like for me the funniest moment though was um when oh, when they go to when they go back to go fight Thanos the second time. After they just lost in that same, what has it been like three weeks since the end of Infinity War? It's been a, it's been a certain amount of time. It hasn't been the five year skip yet, and they go to fight Thanos after they lost. They pull up on him while he's in his little farm. He's minding his own business, doing his own thing, and Thor just goes slices his head off. Yeah. I, I thought there was gonna be more of a fight there. There was no fight there. That that wasn't a fight. Now. Oh, this is not now. I think that's the funniest moment just because of what Thor said. But this is added incentive. I, like, I, I got, I aim for his head or something. Yeah, like, that. like I still, I thought that was funny as hell. Even the Fortnite scene was funny too, where like he's an alcoholic and he gets on the mic, he starts cursing everybody out. <laughs> he's like, I will go to your house and do all stuff too. It's like, um, like it made me think of myself when I was a young gunner playing on the Xbox 360. And I had to hit the lobbies and yell at people because they was just say these profound things to me. I'd be hurt. But um, no, I thought that was like the funniest moments. You have any funny moments? Mm. Uh, I think the one with Ant Man and, and Hulk was funny for me. I oh, mean, there, the tacos. There, there was funny moments, but I it it's been like a couple of days already. Well, it was, it was a lot of funny moments. It was a lot. I, the, the taco thing was funny. Um, but back to what you... What Wait, you, did you like... Did you think Thor was funny? Like, when he was Yeah, bad? I thought Thor was funny. I thought Thor was funny. I thought he was one, probably one of the funniest characters. It was like... When they were going through... Uh, to put the glove on. He's like, yeah, like, you know... I have this Asgardian blood that runs through my veins. And they're like... You have cheese whiz running through your veins. Like, <laughs> that part was funny. But, uh... Back to the... I want to go back to what you had said before... Where, where they, they pulled up on Thanos? In the beginning? Yeah. Yeah. I, it wasn't a fight. It was just Look, I'm gonna keep it a I'm gonna keep it a hundred. I think Thanos still could have bodied them. I think now mm, I don't know. I don't think so. When he first of all he doesn't have the stones with him. It's I just, but I think off of just pure brute strength, he would have besides Captain Marvel. He would have bodied them because when you look at the fight now, granted, yeah, but was, they had their secret weapon, which was Captain yeah, Marvel. That's what I'm saying. If they didn't have her, I think he still would have beat them. Understandably, though, if um, if Thor, no, hold on, he's hurt, right? That's his uh, he's hurt. He's all scarred up, all tattered, all this other stuff, right? And then at the end, you know, he doesn't have the stones. He just has his little 
dual wieldy sword dagger thing. Yeah, he's still, he still he was still, still, still strong. Yeah. So it, even if you give him that handicap of his whole body being all burnt up, scarred, and everything, I a part of me thinks that if Thor or Captain Marvel wasn't there, he would smoke everybody. He would smoke everybody, no hesitation. He would body everybody because that's just how, how strong is he, he is. So strong? Yo, son, when you've been through a lot of hardships in life, it just makes you put on that extra muscle. <laughs> No, but for real, like, he, he was just on a different level. And it's hard for me to be like, yeah, like, you know, I feel like he was at the point in his life, he was like, honestly, like, I lived out my life, I bodied everybody on your planet, kill me. Like, that's how it felt. So, but I still think he would have bodied them no problem, nothing at all, even with the handicap of his arm. I mean, I, no, because, because how many, there was... How what? many of them were there? Uh, there was like Alright, so it was who was it? It was Rocket. It was everybody but Iron Man. That yeah, was so it. that's what I'm saying. It would have been like the, all of them versus one person. Do you really think Yeah. I think he would have still beat them. I don't but know. But I think if he if he doesn't get as hurt as he is that I still think he would have beat them besides uh Captain Marvel. Because it was he's just that strong. Like in the comics he's done he's done wild stuff too, but it, he's just that strong, like He's, oh man, he's just a strong guy. Uh, so now moving on to, after we got all, out all the moments, I want to move on to um, the best character, I believe. And, um, you know, um, biased, uh, obvious Iron Man. But for multiple reasons. Number one, he was able to put everybody else's needs before his own. Uh, he was he wanted to sacrifice his life, you know. Well, he didn't, he didn't want to, but he knew he had to in order to survive. So... You know, just to see Iron Man start off as such like a, a playboy kind of asshole character, to see him become this, to see the character development of a character, to see him become this just loving, genuine character, this humbleness that's in him, where it's like, hey, look, you know, I'm, if this is the only way to do it, I'm willing to sacrifice myself. And this has been alluded to multiple times throughout the MCU movies, especially in the first Avengers, you know, he's the only, like, he was willing to blow everything up like he took the rocket into space and was willing to sacrifice himself so that you know everybody else in new york could live like there's been time and time again that tony stark has done these wild courageous things because he cares more about everybody else than his own life and this is one of those moments like he was like look if i die you know at least i was able to save everybody and i just think that he was just the best character um uh, you know I'm so sad. Hashtag I love you 3000. That still hurts, you know, right in my heart. Um, besides him, I I would have to probably give it to um, Baby Cap because Captain America, you know, it's just them two, just they did extraordinary things. They did what they had to do to help these people out. They did what they had to do to, you know, survive. And I feel like Captain America had a lot of monumental moments, especially picking up Thor's hammer. So I feel like they just were, you know, in my opinion, the best characters of the movie, uh, Angelica. Best yeah, character? Def definitely Iron Man. Yeah. Even though I'm not a crazy fan. Nice. I mean, am I the only one that kind of knew he was going to die? Because from, I, the, from the beginning of the movie, he was saying, he was like, I don't, I have family. I can't risk this. And he was like, I feel like he, well, was, he was calling I, it. He was calling it. I knew he was going to die because this movie, somebody had to die. That was important. On top of that too, his contract was running out. But um, I knew that someone had to die and it most likely was going to be him just because it's been alluded to so much like throughout the movies like there's always been something that's like makes that separates him from everybody else when it comes to death like oh wait we forgot to mention for the like best moments it was in the funeral when everybody was standing there oh all the people that he's encountered throughout his life yeah, yeah that was sad because it's like you see like literally from what was that may 2018 was the or not 2018 may 2008 i believe the first iron man movie was started off the mcu you see everybody that he's encountered throughout his whole life that has helped him in a way there at that funeral you even get the call back to iron man 3 with the little boy who helped him out when he was in a time of need like just to see everybody there that was like yo like it is it showed how much of an impact he was as a character it showed like he was he was that guy like he was the guy that everybody you know people hated but he did a lot for these people like he did a lot for that for the marvel universe and they showed they showed him respect and that was that's respect you know 
Like Yeah, I definitely wanna give him the best. Best, best character. character. Yeah, that was dope stuff. Um, all right. So now, Angelica, uh, worst character. You could you could start this one off. Worst character. Uh huh. Mm. You don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'm gonna be the one to down the hill again. Don't. Oh. Oh, oh. You thought I thought you were gonna, gonna say, say Black Panther. I thought you were gonna say Black Panther. Look, I got a bias against Black Panther. All right, we can't talk about that on another like, podcast. I was like, you can't say that because he literally had like like two lines. <laughs> and like, I was the happiest I was, man. Look, I like I like Black Panther, the superhero, but man, man, I feel the type of way. But that's a different topic, a different conversation for another time. But no, I think whole. I like I said before in my worst moments part, it's just he's just too overconfident as a character. It, which is not it's not a problem but like you don't gotta be like a condescending asshole sometimes like and i just feel like i don't know i just never really like him i just it just was different it wasn't me i was like hey, i can i can do it off this hulk i don't i don't need this whole being a jerk he's he's being kind of a jerk wide and i'm cool I'm cool off of that i don't need that you find a i don't know i don't have one Worst character. It's all right. You don't gotta have one. I'm just saying it was just me. Like I'm, I wasn't really a big fan of him. It's just, but that's just me though. Like you know what I'm saying. Um. So overall thoughts on the movie Angelica. Is this a must see? Yeah, definitely. It, even all right. So I mean, I'm pretty sure majority people of fans have already seen it. Look, it made 1.2 billion. Yeah. Over the weekend. And today at work, I asked this guy, which I thought I thought he was gonna say yeah, he saw it. I was uh -huh. like, did you see um, the Avengers? He was like, no, I'm just gonna wait for it to come out. And I was like, I thought I thought he was like gonna say he was a big fan, but he wasn't. Oh uh, nah, I, I think it's a must see. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a must. I think even if you've never seen any of the Marvel movies, I think it's um something that you definitely should check out. It's uh I'm gonna say it's a moment in time. I'm gonna say this, right? It's it's rare that we that we as a society have these moments in time where we all come together to really celebrate and really talk about something. And I, besides from Game of Thrones, you know, because everybody has been coming together to talk about this for the past weeks. You know, this is another moment in time where us as a culture, us as a society, regardless of whoever, has come together to talk about a movie on this scale. Like, movies drop year round. Movies come out all the time. It's all, but this was this one was different. This one was different because. I feel like just a lot of people just came together, just come see this movie. It's a good experience, mm -hmm. you know. Like even when we was in the movie theater, I was saying, you know, I was saying like I'm proud because I'm happy to see everybody just come out their house. You know, everybody likes to stay inside nowadays. You know, whether it be watching something on Netflix, playing Xbox, doing something, but it's just good to see that everybody came out their house to experience this all together and on top of that two for three hours nobody was on their phone i mean besides the guy next to me who was who was texting but i mean well yeah, we won't talk about you in a bad light but just to see everybody just drop what they were doing to experience this for the whole three hours it was something like i really um i really appreciate that i thought it was a monumental moment you know that's it's rare like you don't see that that often right mm -hmm. You know, it's just, I don't know. I really liked it. I really appreciated it. Uh, so overall thoughts, I think it's definitely a must-see. Definitely check it out, you know. Even if you're not a crazy fan. You, yeah, it's definitely. You, you don't, you still don't, you don't really necessarily, I mean, it's better to see the other movies, but you don't necessarily have to. Yeah, like, going into, you could go into this one blind. And well, you do have to see the, the Infinity one. Yeah, you do got to see that one. That one, you have to see it because... There, there's, like, but you could, like... You know what it is, though? Like, I'm going to say... All right, for me, right? I didn't start watching Star Wars until, like, episode one. So I didn't know about 4, 5, and 6, even though 4, 5, and 6 is still... is after episode one. But there's people who want to go see Star Wars. It's like, oh, like, you know... They were they knew all the characters already because of 4, 5, and 6. I knew nothing of these people... So it's almost like that. When I was young, I saw those movies. Kids might be young and they might go see Endgame and they might want to backtrack and be like, you know what, let me watch. Mm -hmm. 
to catch up on all yeah, of Yeah, so then I can get why, you know, my mom or my dad, my brother, my sister feel this type of way towards this movie because it meant a lot to them. Like, this is 11 years, not 11 years, this is, um, a, a, is it, like, yeah, it's 11 years yeah, in the making, 21 movies. Yeah, so to just have this all come together, uh, it's a monumental moment. Definitely, I would definitely, definitely, definitely check it out. Uh, so Angelica, any closing statements? Go watch the movie if you haven't. I mean, I'm pretty sure if you're listening to this, you probably already saw it because you said spoiler. <laughs> yeah, I said spoiler. I didn't care. Look. So they already seen it. And my closing statements is: Look, this was, it was something special. R.P. My man Iron Man, and uh, I love you three thousand. Peace.